Hi everybody, I thought I would do a liquid liner kind of, not tutorial, but introduction and reviews on liquid liners. I've used almost every and any liquid liner on the market. I'm very, very particular. My favorite um, liquid liner, they discontinued the product and they reformulated it and I hate the new formula. Um, my favorite one was Sephora. Um, I have a bunch of these, but they reformulated it and I hate the new formula because after you wear it, it dries and then it like cracks and it like peels off and I hate that. The Urban Decay um, formula is also like that. I liked the small brush. I really love the brush on the Sephora ones because it's on this flexible um, felt tip. It's kind of a brush in a felt form, but I really, really, really love these. It lasts a long time. I've had these for quite a few years and I use them all the time and I'm just now um, getting to the bottom of this product. And I love the regular Wet n Wild liners. These are good quality. Um, it comes on a brush form. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is just the regular one, not the H2O proof. I'll show you that one in a second. I have the colors in just basic black and brown and I'll swatch it for you because I have this color is 863. Um, I think it's, um, I'm not sure the exact color name, but um, this is the color right here. And it's on this thin brush and it's really flexible. It's on a brush, it's not like on a stiff felt brush and it's really easy to use. And the, the Wet n Wild liquid liner that I hate, I just got this and I, I hate it. I, yeah, I just, I don't know how else to describe it, that I hate it. This is in the dark gray color, the H2O proof. Um, the bottle is slightly different but the thing I hate about this, the brush is so stiff and the formula is different. I don't understand, the formula is a lot different than the regular ones. I find that these last a long time and they don't smudge or smear and this is very, very watery and I, I just don't like the brush. It's too stiff, you can't do anything with it and the formula is just, it sucks. <laughs> And the next one that I don't like, I got this at Sally Beauty. This is the Palladio Liquid Eyeliner in Midnight. I was looking for a good navy eyeliner and I find the brush on this one is stiff too. Um, the formula is kind of watery. Um, you have to kind of build it and it's watery and it comes off easily and it smears. I've only used it once or twice. I do not like this formula at all. And I've used my NYX one a couple times. I just have it in this green color. This is the NYX Glam Liner Aqualux Waterproof. And let's see, is there a name to this color? Oh, Glam Lagoon is the name of this. I got this at Ulta a long time ago. And it has slight glitter in it, but I didn't have any problems with, it's very finely milled, so. But that's the color right there on the end on this side. Oh, sorry, this side. But um, I'm highly impressed with this. The, it's a really, really, really thin brush and it's easy to work with. And like I said, I've tried some Maybelline one was really, really watery. I've tried the Physi Physician's Formula. I've tried basically almost every liquid liner um, from the drugstore. I have just recently read this week that the New York Color NYC line, that their liquid liner is amazing. So I wanna try and pick that up this week. That runs around two or three dollars. But that's my rundown on the liquid liners that I have. If you have any comments or questions, comment below. Thanks, and remember to subscribe. Bye.